This is Richard Sanaka. We talk now about the incidence of gadolinium deposition disease, which I'll call GDD. And as I've uh, mentioned, um, approximately one in 10,000 people undergo MRI will uh, uh, sustain uh, GDD. Now, that's overall everyone. There are higher risk factors, as I've said, white women are at higher risk. So white women undergoing MRI, that increases the risk probably to about one in five to 7,000. But all other T-cell dysregulatory conditions and anything that throws off your immune system adds to the likelihood that you can get the disease. And I would say overall, the most common uh, individual that I see with gadolinium deposition disease are white women who have the um, basket term of multiple chemical sensitivity syndrome. So they're very sensitive to other chemicals. That's probably the most common group. And I estimate that with a simple form of multiple chemical sensitivity syndrome, meaning you're not sensitive to that many chemicals, um, probably the risk then becomes one in 4,000 that uh, you're at risk to, uh, to get GDD. As the severity increases and the sensitivity to more chemicals increase and, and how bad the reactions are, then the risk increases. Other chronic conditions like Lyme disease increase the risk of developing uh, GDD. Anything that can throw off the immune system and even minor things and things that you can avoid um, because they throw off the immune system, uh, you should avoid before getting MR. So I hesitate uh, to recommend to people if they're currently on high dose antibiotics for some condition, to then undergo gadolinium uh, enhanced MRI right away. The reason is you already have something throwing off your immune system, which makes you more susceptible to getting GDD. And even simple things of extreme exercise, so running a marathon or half marathon within a few days of MR or a few days after MR, puts you at greater risk. So basically you want to be in a relative state of homeostasis, calmness in your body as much as you can. Some things you can control, like excess uh, exercise, other things you can't control, like uh, severe multiple chemical sensitivity syndrome. So just be it, pay attention to these factors. Now, it doesn't mean you shouldn't get an MR with gadolinium if it is critical that you get it, but be aware that you're at high risk, which means recognize it if it develops, because with one injection of gadolinium and the development of GDD, probably about a third of people recover on their own if they never get another gadolinium enhancement again, but it takes a couple of years. And what one wants to do during that period is again, um, live a healthy life, keep your stress uh, low, keep gentle exercise and eat a healthy diet. Thank you.